storytellers welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video <sighs> today is a cold winter morning it is not I, I should say we've had snow but it is not currently snowy out which is mildly disappointing and I never thought I'd say that but it is cold it is wintry so I'm gonna start the morning doing what I would do on any cold day and just kind of hanging out in bed for a little bit. I usually watch YouTube videos. I might read a little bit. I just got some new sort of witchy books in the mail yesterday that I'm excited about. So I have The Beginner's Guide to the Occult. And this is Understanding the History, Key Concepts and Practices of the Supernatural by Deborah Lip. And it's really cool. It covers the sort of different practices. There's folk magic, witchcraft, astrology, numerology, alchemy, Kabbalah, ceremonial magic, and tarot. And then there's some other information in there, but it just looks like a really cute, informative book full of fun stuff. So I'm excited for this one. And the next item I got isn't actually, I mean, there's a little book in it, I guess, but it is Seasons of the Witch Yule Oracle Deck by Lorraine Anderson and Juliet Diaz. And these, I have to show you. This is the little tarot book it comes with, and it's got information on the cards and how to do little tarot spreads and all that. But let me just show you some of these cards because they are gorgeous. I do mean gorgeous. And just look at the illustrations on these cards. They're so pretty. They're so pretty. They're just meant to help you sort of guide yourself through the wintry season and through a time that is very quiet and reflective and good for growth if you embrace it that way. So that is what I'm doing. I'm embracing it that way. I love the little bear illustration on the first card and I love the shiny like emerald green foiling on the sides of these cards. It just makes them a little extra special. So I have that and I thought they'd be good um just sort of to help me maybe either set my intentions for the day and maybe do a little journaling about them at the end of the day and see how, you know, my focus for the day went. And then last but not least, also Yule inspired, it's Llewellyn's Little Book of Yule by Jason Mankey. And this is fantastic because it goes through the history of sort of Yuletide in general. Um, from Saturnalia to Christmas, Yuletide, Foundations, the Gift Givers, Holiday Traditions, New Year's, and beyond. So it basically counts the Yuletide season as like Thanksgiving through maybe past New Year's. And there's all kinds of holidays from around the world in different traditions and religions that celebrate during this time period. So it's kind of a, an encompassing guide to the Yuletide season and not just Christmas, which is really exciting. I'm hoping to sort of get some good ideas on how I can celebrate and maybe also learn some new things along the way. But I think I'm just gonna hang out in bed for a little bit, maybe cuddle with the cat if she wants to come over, and then I'm going to start my morning. <music> So now it's time for breakfast. It's pretty late. It's more like 11 Z's at this point. But I have this box of four chocolate croissants that you let rise and proof overnight. These boys are looking fluffy. I'm so excited for them. I love chocolate croissants. Love, love, love them. They, what, 20 to 25 minutes. So my thinking is that I'm going to get these guys going and then I might, I think I'm gonna take a little turn about the neighborhood, honestly. Not very long, just a couple minutes while they're in the oven, but I think I'll get my coffee going before I do. That way when I come back, I have coffee and croissants and I'll probably make a little something else to go with it because I love a big breakfast, especially when I have a slow morning like this and I've sort of loafed in bed till about 11 o'clock. It's definitely something I like, I like a big breakfast. So anyway, let's get coffee going. Are you causing trouble? No, you're just playing with your boxes. Yeah. Yeah. 
What are you doing? Hi, cutie. Are you really smart? Yes. <laughs> I love. Hello, my love. Oh, the coffee smells heavenly. So, my one of my favorite things about the winter season is it's peppermint mocha season. Possibly my favorite drink on the planet. Quite possibly. And as much as I'd love to go to Starbucks and get proper peppermint. And as much as I'd love to go to Starbucks and get proper peppermint mochas, it's not feasible. So I have come up with a um, pretty much perfected system to making them at home. So that's what we're doing. I start with the Starbucks peppermint mocha instant coffee. Oh, this stuff smells so good. And then to bump up the flavor, we have peppermint hot chocolate in this Lake Champlain hot chocolate is the most pepperminty hot chocolate I have ever found. I always, to bump up the chocolatiness without killing the pepperminty flavor from the coffee and the hot chocolate to further bump it up though, I usually do a chocolate milk in there, a little bit of a splash to mix in. And right now I'm really loving the oat beverage from Trader Joe's, the chocolate one. And then just to be bougie and add a little bit of fun, we add some whipped cream. And I know Trader Joe's has non-dairy whipped cream and I just didn't grab some because we already had a can. So it seemed silly to do that. But today it's gonna hang out in my little gnome mug. It's ready, it's time to make the coffee. But I'm excited to use him this year. The oven's now also ready, so it's time to pop in the croissants time to make some coffee. Like I said, I think I'm going to go on a short walk, so I might just let the coffee hang out on the brewer, staying warm till I get back while the croissants are in the oven. So let's do that. So I'm not taking a long walk. I'm just going to do a little stroll, if you will. I probably will check the mail, see if there's anything I missed from yesterday, because I am expecting some things. But I think, like I said, I'm just going to pop around real quick so I'm not really gonna bother getting too done up I am gonna put on this new hoodie that I got myself she's fleecy so cozy lovely I'm probably in all honesty going to horrify people by saying that I'm gonna keep on flip-flops in 30 degree weather even though I'm bundled up right here I'm just taking a quick turn about the neighborhood, so I'm not going to be out long. I'm not too worried about being too cold. I just don't want to be super frozen, so let's take a walk. I wish I could show you some of my neighbor's Christmas decorations. They're so cute. I'm so into them, but I don't want to ruin anyone's privacy, but they're so cute. They're so adorable. I would just keep decorating for Christmas constantly if I could, but I can't, so... But I'm almost done with my Christmas decorations. I have a couple things that I want to like tweak and then I think I'm done other than getting our tree, which hopefully we'll do soon because we had already talked about getting it this week, but he didn't feel good, my boyfriend. So we didn't because I kind of need him to lift it. I'm only 5'2", so most trees are bigger than me. Can't really lift it myself and get it on the car and bring it home and up the stairs. So we needed him to feel better before we did that, but hopefully this week because I'm really excited about it and I want it. So, back home. The croissants are done, so we have to go check on those, but I'll quickly finish my little in here tour, I guess. Mm -hmm. 
So let's check on our croissants before I keep my decorations tour going. Oh yeah, those guys look ready. I'm gonna take them out and let them cool. Beautiful. They're a little dark, but that's okay. That's my fault, I let them sit. breakfast or since it's noon pretty much lunch which is why I decided I'd go a little bit heartier even than originally planned and added some hash browns and a mandarin orange just to really really get all the good stuff in um I guess I could be adding a veggie if I really wanted to be good about it but this is still pretty good I think nice and tasty I can tell the croissant's still soft and that the chocolate's still soft in there the bacon's nice and crispy my egg patties nice and golden as are my hash browns and my orange is nice and fresh so I'm excited to dig in also got my coffee I topped it off while I was cooking still so that's why the whipped cream's gone and my big old jug of water I've been trying to get through one of these guys um each day because I'm really bad about hydration but I figure if I have one big bottle that has pretty much all I need for the day then it's it's better for me <laughs> so I'm going to watch Sugar Rush Christmas Edition while I eat But that's pretty much it for my cozy, slow morning routine. If you enjoyed this video, let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you want to keep up with me and all of my bookish adventures, you can go ahead and click the subscribe button. And of course, I highly recommend that you ring the little bell so that you don't miss a beat. I will see you guys tomorrow with a new video because that bell will notify you every time I post a new one. And like I've been saying, in the month of November, for 25 whole days is going to be every single day. So I'll see you guys then. Bye!